Since October, scores and scores of unions and labor bodies at the local, state, regional, and national level have been calling for a ceasefire. There's a uh, statement, uh, a U.S. labor movement call for a ceasefire. It also includes a call for restoring food, fuel, water, electricity to Gaza, and a call for the release of all hostages. That was started uh, around October 17th by the United Electrical Radio and Machine Workers, UE, which is a relatively small um, but historically very progressive trade union here in the United States. So UE, along with United Food and Commercial, Commercial Workers, UFCW Local 3000, started this petition with the ceasefire call and asked or called on other unions to uh, sign on to it. And so far, as I said, I've lost count how many um, have signed on to it. And other unions have also uh, issued their own statements and resolutions calling for a ceasefire. So these are unions of uh, teachers and academic workers, healthcare workers, um, roofers, painters, dock workers. Can you list some um, of the un can you list some of the unions yeah, like the UAW yeah, yeah, and Yeah, sir, sir, certainly. So I mentioned the United Electrical Workers, the American Postal Workers Union, United Auto Workers, 1199 SEIU, which is the largest healthcare union in the country, the Na National Nurses United, uh, International Longshore and Warehouse Union, Local 10, uh, the Chicago Teachers Union, the Boston Teachers Union, uh, several locals of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, and 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 on and on. It would it would it would take a long time, but th these represent millions of of working people across the country, and I think it's an illustration of the fact um, that as the polls consistently show, major a majority of people in this country support calls for a ceasefire. And when you're talking about a majority of people in this country, you're talking about working class people. And when they have organizations like unions that represent their voices, that give them uh, a democratic say, then um, you're going to see those organizations, those unions um, express um, the, the stance of working class people, which in this case is a, a call for an end to the slaughter and for, uh, for a ceasefire.